Lord, praise the Lord, praise the Lord, praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Uh, God bless everyone. I hope you had a very beautiful week and I want to thank God for yet another opportunity for us to meet again and worship the Lord together as we grow in the knowledge of his word. Father, we just want to thank you because you're a good God and because you're a faithful God. We want to thank you for your kindness, for your faithfulness, for your enablement, oh God, even for you helping us to be here at such a time as this. I want to pray for the viewers in the name of Jesus Christ. May you meet each one and, the, and each and every one of them at the very point of their needs. And may you extend the tents of their territories by blessing them, healing them, delivering them, and setting them free from every form of captivity in the mighty name of Jesus. Be exalted because you're God. Be glorified because you're God. We honor you and adore you in Jesus' name. Amen. Yeah, God bless you. God bless you. Yeah, today, today we have a very interesting topic. Hallelujah. And we are looking at soil and why it is used in witchcraft. Um, I just want to extend your knowledge so that you can know how to pray. Praise the Lord. For example, why do witches visit the graveyard after burial to carry soil? Why do people pick soil, uh, follow you and pick soil from your footprints? Uh, what do they use it for? Why do people follow your cars where you're parking and they pick the soil and they carry it? Why the interest in that soil that you have stepped on? Praise God. So if you know, the Bible says, you know, knowledge is power. That is English. Knowledge is power. It's common knowledge. Knowledge is power. And knowledge is, uh, knowledge is a weapon. And forewarned is forearmed. If you know the situation, you can... Uh, if you know the situation, you, you, can, you can rescue yourself. Praise God. You can rescue yourself. I want to write something. You can rescue yourself. So, yeah, in the book of Genesis, when you look at the characteristics of the earth, because, you know, soil is part of the earth, when you look at the characteristics of the earth, you find that the earth behaves almost like human being, like it's a living thing. The earth is not just compact soil, it's not just rock, the earth is a living thing. And when living, when something is living, it, it has every, you know, it has eyes, it has ears, it has the mouth, it can produce, praise God, it can produce so the earth is a living creature and i want to just bring about the aspect of the earth being alive before i teach you i teach you or i enlighten you on how and why witches use the soil in their witchcraft operations in the book of genesis chapter one genesis chapter one when god was creating everything it's the beginning it's the creation he says in verse in verse what in verse 11 11 says and god said let the earth bring forth grass the herb yielding seed and the fruit yielding tree yielding fruit after its kind whose seed is in itself upon the earth and it was so and the earth brought forth grass and herb yielding seed after his kind and the tree yielding fruit whose seed was in itself after his kind and god saw that it was good so the earth is can reproduce praise god the earth can reproduce it has the ability to give birth to bring forth like a woman verse 24 of the same chapter chapter 1 of genesis 24 and God said, let the earth bring forth the living creature after his kind, cattle and creeping things and uh, the beast of the earth after his kind. And it was so, praise the Lord. So the earth it has a productive nature. It can bring forth. It can push. 
and when the head comes out, it's a, an avocado tree. It can push, and then it's a mango tree. It can push, it's an orange tree. The earth pushed, it was wells and fishes and birds and everything. So everything you see is a product of the earth, and the earth is powerful, praise God. So the earth exhibits these characteristics of a human being. I want you to look at Leviticus 18. Leviticus 18. I just want to touch on a few so that you understand. Because Jesus said the children, the children of the world are smarter, <laughs> are smarter than the children of the light. They understand. They understand the power of the earth, and that is how come they can use the soil to bring great damage into your lives. Praise the Lord. Uh, verse, chapter 18 of Leviticus, um, we start with verse 25. Okay, 24, let's start with 24. Defile not yourself in any of these things, for in all these things the nations are defiled which I cast out before you. And the land is defiled. Therefore, I do visit the iniquity thereof upon it. And the land itself vomiteth out her inhabitants. The land itself vomiteth out her inhabitants. The land itself can vomit. Who is it vomiting? The people that are living upon that particular part of the earth. The earth can decide to vomit them out. That is to throw them away from it, cast them away from it, uh, and it will be so in the name of Jesus. Uh, verse 28 of the same says, that the land spew you not, spew not you out also. When you defile it, as it spewed out the nations that were before you. When God was destroying the, the, the people in the territories that the children of Israel were taking over, he says, he describes that, uh, that method like the earth vomiting its inhabitants. Praise God. How? Like, for example, in this area where I live, something happens and everyone around here is destroyed. And the people who are coming to live here are new people. They have never been here before. It's, for them, it's a new territory. So what happens to, the, to the, we who are inhabiting this place before? The land vomited us out, praise God. Of course, nothing can vomit unless it's a living thing. For you to vomit, you need to have a stomach, you need to have a mouth, you, you, need, to, you need to feel nauseated, nauseated, you need to have feelings, praise God, for even you to know that you are about to do what? To vomit, praise the Lord. Genesis, uh, Deuteronomy, the book of Deuteronomy, Deuteronomy 11, chapter 11, Deuteronomy 11, 11, 11, 11 reads, but the land whither ye go to possess it is a land of hills and valleys and drinketh water of the rain of heaven. The land that you're going to possess drinks water. You know, the earth has the ability to drink. I, I said, I just want to bring out the characteristics of the earth that make the earth a living thing so that it can converse, it can listen, it can be assigned, it can be given an assignment, and it can execute the assignment. That is the knowledge that many believers do not own. Don't know what is what is the value, what is the ability of the earth, other than planting their seed and you know expecting some good harvest after a good rain. Many of us, other than digging graves to bury our dead relatives, our dead animals, we have no further use of the land. Other than buying a piece to build a house and live, we don't really think much about the earth. And that is where God says, My 
people perish for lack of knowledge. If you don't have knowledge, and the Bible states in the book of um, uh, Proverbs chapter 4, that in all your searching, search for understanding. Just search to understand how things are done. Don't just sit there uh, enjoying and celebrating your ignorance because you think the more ignorant you are of spiritual issues, the more sophisticated you look, praise God. This has nothing to do with the level of education. This has everything to do with spiritual matters that if you, you continue being ignorant and, and you, you, you don't care to know, then you will continue suffering in the hands of the wise, praise the Lord. So the land whither you go to possess it is a land of hills and valleys and drinketh water of the rain of heaven. Praise God. The land has the ability to drink. You cannot drink without a mouth, of course. Uh, Deuteronomy 30, verse 19. This is uh, Moses is, has assembled the children of Israel and he is giving them the, the law. Praise God. And he says, I call heaven and earth to record this day against you that I have set before you life and death, blessing and cursing. Therefore, choose life that both thou and thy seed may live. So the earth has been called as a witness to record. Praise the Lord. Who do you call as a witness? Every time you have a case, for those of you who've ever gone to court, there's no way you're going to call a dunderhead for a witness. Praise God. There's no way you're going to call somebody who is mentally unstable for, for a witness. There's no way you're going to call the blind or the deaf to come and become a witness for you. Because if it's the blind, they'll be asked, did you see? They will say, no, 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 but I had. So if you had, how sure are you it is this person? Praise the Lord. So they are for you to be called as a recorder for you know for you to record you have to know the facts and you have to be sure to record the sequence of events as they happen not just you know you can't just call a witness to record things and they start saying uh, i was coming from kariobangi you know they have um they they write a statement that is that, is, that has no hands and no tail. Praise God. So Moses, uh, Moses called the earth to bear witness or to record against the children of Israel that on that particular day, he had told them how God is good and how choosing God would result to them having life. But if they are ever going to go against these rules, then let there be a witness. And who is the witness? How about if all of them decide to say, we did not hear what you said? What can he say? It's them against him. So he calls something that's neutral. He calls something that is that is not uh, taking sides. And he says, I call the heavens and the earth to record this day against you. So in future, the earth will endure. The earth will be there. When the earth passes away, then everything in this world has passed away. Of course, we know that time will come and the earth will pass away. However, before then, as long as the earth endureth, praise God. God. The earth will always be a witness and there is no way they can change overnight and say, oh, we did not understand. In Deuteronomy chapter 4, I'm just giving you the characteristics of the earth so that we understand why witches use soil in witchcraft. Why do they use soil for their witchcraft operations? Praise the Lord. Uh, Deuteronomy chapter 4. Verse 26 says, I call heaven and earth to witness against you this day that you shall soon utterly perish from off the land where I run to you go over Jordan to possess it. You shall not prolong your days upon it, but shall utterly be destroyed. You see, now the earth here is acting as just a witness. The earth is seeing what this guy is saying. So when this thing, when there's a dispute, when there's a question, people are questioning, the earth can also bear witness and say, I was there. Praise God. You see, before uh, one or two witnesses, a matter is done what? Is established. Praise the Lord. So the earth has all the characteristics of a living being. Uh, the book of Numbers, it's a famous chapter that you know. Numbers 16, 
we are seeing the earth do something again. Praise the Lord. Number 16. Hallelujah. Number 16, chapter uh, verse 30, 16, 30. And I read, But if the Lord make a new thing, and the earth open our mouth, and swallow them up with all that appertain unto them, and they go down quick into the pit, then you shall understand that these men have provoked the Lord. If the Lord make a new thing, and the earth open our mouth and swallow them up. The earth has the ability to eat, praise God. In fact, not just to eat, to swallow, swallow, you know, open our mouth and swallow them up, praise the Lord. So when you look at the earth, you'll understand that the earth is for sure a living thing. So when you are operating the soil, you are dealing with the earth. That's how come witches can speak to the soil because they understand that the soil can hear what they are saying. That's how come witches can write on the ground. I think you've seen many clips where you see witches uh, taking a stick and writing on the ground as if they are writing in a book. You understand? So even when Jesus was writing on the earth, when those men came accusing that, uh, that woman, I think he was now writing a new record. Because according to Colossians, he, he dealt with the record that existed before and he erased everything so that we can start a new life. Praise God. Jeremiah, the book of Jeremiah 22. Jeremiah 22. I want you to look at it in your Bible. And verse 30, we read 29 and 30, 29. 29, the prophet is addressing the earth and he says, O earth, 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 hear the word of the Lord. So the earth can hear, praise God. This uh, prophet is saying, hear the word of the Lord. Then what does it say? Thus says the Lord, who is saying, the prophet is passing a message of the Lord to the earth. Write ye this man childless, a man that shall not prosper in his days, for no man of his seed shall prosper, sitting upon the throne of David and ruling anymore in Judah. The earth was to write. In other version, it says, record this man as though childless. Praise God. The prophet of the Lord spoke to the earth and said, O earth, 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 hear the voice of the Lord, the word of the Lord, that says the Lord, write ye this man. Who is to write? The earth should record this man. Write down this man. For as long as he walks on the earth, he will not prosper. It is written. In, in a pen, you know, it's written on the tablets of the heart of the earth that this man cannot prosper. So all the demons, all the powers that work in the office of against prosperity, they have a record. When they go back to their archives, they will find a record that says this man cannot prosper. So it doesn't matter where this man moves. He can, he can come from Africa, go to Europe because he's now looking for greener pastures. In Europe, if there are people who are suffering, this man will be among them. Why? Because the earth has a record that he cannot prosper. Praise the Lord. So when you look at these characteristics of the earth, you now understand if the earth can keep a record, this record is for a thousand generations because any record that has been kept, unless it is broken, there is no way you're going anywhere. Praise the Lord. There's no way you're going anywhere because a record is existing against you unless you now in, in conscious and deliberate prayer start praying against the earth, against those records and destroy them, then you are going to have a fight. Praise the Lord. Imagine the earth is alive and the earth can speak. You are not aware that the earth can speak. 
So when you travel to the village or when even in your city, you meet evil men who wait for you to stand so that they can pick soil from under your feet. Sometimes you wonder, what are they going to do with this soil? And you don't care. You know, when, when we used to, to have those days where we didn't really, really care about witchcraft because we had the... We had the twisted knowledge that Jesus said it's finished. And so because it's finished, who are we to revisit it again and, you know, like start dealing with witchcraft? What do you mean? We are above that. We believe. Oh, so that time we never used to mind if somebody picks soil from under our feet. We could even, I, I think, me, I could just step there deliberately so that you pick the soil. Hey, by the time I started undoing the, 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 the witchcraft, it was work. Praise the Lord. So the earth is a living thing. So when somebody picks soil that you've stepped on, that you've sat on, or you, you know, the people who go to these uh, makeshift bathrooms, you shower and then that water, you, or you wash your legs and then you throw the water on the soil and then somebody comes and picks the water that has, you know, washed off your sweat plus the soil. My friend, they have a witchcraft tool. For those of you who take your children, you know, you, you love bathing your children out when you go home, you bathe them, then you pour that water just anyhow. And I'm not saying don't do it, but be prayerful. Praise the Lord. So somebody else who is smarter than you, they will come and pick the water which has the, the sweat, the sweat of your baby plus the, the soil. That's, you know, the sweat is blood and blood equals to life plus the soil. The soil, as you know, in the book of Genesis, uh, just so that you understand, the book of Genesis, verse 26, the Bible says in chapter 1, verse 26, and God said, let us make man in our image after like after our likeness and let them have dominion over the fish of the sea and over the fall of the air and over the cattle and over all the earth and over every creeping thing that creepeth upon the earth. Praise the Lord. Verse 28 says, and God blessed them and God said unto them, be fruitful and multiply and replenish the earth and subdue it. Replenish it and subdue it. Praise God. Meaning, uh, uh, any normal human being can take spiritual control over the earth, over the environment. Praise the Lord. You can stand and pray and say, all oh, the snakes in this environment, you shall not destroy any human life. And it will be so because God has given us dominion. That's how come you find a man can tame a wild beast because we have dominion. And if you don't think about it, we only think that people tame uh, wild animals for 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 the sake of you know acrobatics and you know magicians you don't understand that's how come the africans tame the snake tame the what the warthogs tame the buffaloes tame the leopards and at night they come riding them outside your home because they are using them in their witchcraft operations because they know how they can tame them praise for wickedness praise the lord and you who is not aware who has never even you know you never even give much thought to this scripture be fruitful and multiply when i was growing up the only part of this scripture we used to look at is when, when a couple just got married, we would now tell them, now you need to get into obedience, start multiplying, start multiplying. Even the fruitful part, we are not there. And if we talk about it, it's in terms of getting more babies. So that is the only part you would focus on. Be fruitful and multiply now. You know, fill the earth. In fact, just fill the earth. Praise the Lord. So... The, the witches now, they understand this, the whole of these elements of the earth. And that's how come they will take the soil. When they take the soil and they are chanting, you know, they're just lifting the soil and they are speaking, speaking, speaking. And you who does not want to pray, you how do you go? Ah, they are stupid. I don't believe in those things. You don't believe and you're walking on earth. So the moment they take the soil and they speak or they make a covenant with the soil, they can command the earth to swallow your blessing. You know, just how uh, Moses prayed and said, today something unusual is going to happen. Uh, God is going to do something that has never been done. The earth will open the mouth and swallow, and it happened. The same way a witch can pick the soil from where you are standing and command the earth to swallow your blessing. And that's how come many a times there are places you visit, and when you go back to work, you lose your job. 
There are places you visit and when you go back home, you lose your marriage. There are places you visit and when you go back home, you lose your children. You may lose them by them dying physically or becoming drug addict or prostitute or something that will result in you not having the kind of a child you desired in life. Praise God. So because they know how to manufacture the witchcraft using the earth, why do they use the earth? Why do they use the soil? They use the soil because, number one, many of you uh, who are afraid of, you know, posting your pictures, which I advise, please avoid on Facebook, on what, whichever media, you know, Instagram, just showing people how your life, how your life is doing. We know, everybody knows that anyone can download your photo and use it as a point of contact and destroy your life. However, when somebody manages to pick the soil from under your feet every single day of your life, you will not fly. You will walk. Your, your feet must come in contact with the earth. So you must step on soil at any given time. There is no time you're going to be suspended on air. You will be in contact with the soil. So somebody will pick that soil and declare, as long as Pastor Veronica is walking on this soil, let the soil wage war against her marriage. So when am I not going to walk uh, on the soil? When am I going to start flying like Casper the friendly ghost? When am I going to start that? Not any day soon in this life. So for as long as I live, if I don't pray and break that curse, if I don't pray and destroy that covenant, because others go as far as covenanting the earth with your destruction, how I give an offering, I can slaughter according to what I have, a bull, I can slaughter a goat, uh, you know, a sheep, I can slaughter something. Others will even slaughter doves, others will even slaughter human beings to shed their blood so that I baptize the earth with that blood. And then I will speak and I will declare, you know, I will chant, I will speak to the earth and say, as long as I have given this offering to you, earth, you see the earth drinks, the earth swallows, praise God, or I can kill an animal and bury it. We uh, From Kambani Msonye, you know, when they kill an animal, before they kill it, they make it eat some writings. Like they write, uh, Veronica will not prosper in this life. Her children will not prosper in this life. Then they make the animal to eat the pepper. And when the animal eats the pepper, they now dig a grave on the earth and they bury it. Why are they burying animals? They're not burying animals because they want to bury animals. I'm not talking about a pet that died or a cow that died from, you know, foot and mouth disease and you are told to bury it instead of eating it. No, I'm talking about burying strange animals for rituals. Mm -hmm. Why are they burying it? Because they are feeding the earth. Praise God. Either to ask a favor, a wicked favor, or to make a covenant with the earth and say, earth, as, 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 as long as I've fed you today and I'll keep feeding you, you will, you will make sure Veronica does not rise. So they bury that animal. They feed the earth. So the earth is full. You know, I've ever gone before a corrupt judge who has already taken bribery against you. Do you know how they look at you when you are talking? They are not bothered. They are writing things that are, they are not even listening because they already have a verdict. Praise God. So the earth now becomes biased against you and everywhere you go, it is working against your prosperity. That's how come you find people with very sad stories. They will say, oh, I was living in Rwanda. They killed everybody in my family. Then I came in Kenya. The only place we could go was Kibra. Then when we were in Kibra, these men came and they raped us and they killed my sister. Then I went to Kakuma and in Kakuma, these people started, you know, even that time they're talking, they don't have one eye, they don't have an arm. They, like life has been miserable. People who have histories of, uh, I saw one, I saw one in, in, in America. Uh, he was just talking and he was saying, uh, I came to, I went to Canada, then I came to America. He's in the streets, he's a Kenyan. And then you're looking at this man and you're saying, this man left the village. He went to Canada. He became something of value. He even vied, I don't know, to become a senator or a governor or a what. And then he moved to the U.S. And he's in 
in the streets. He's in the streets and people from the village are calling for him. He's not the only one. There are so many people like that. And you are wondering what happened to this person? What type of witchcraft is this one? That is the witchcraft that uses the soil. Praise God. When they picked his soil when he was going to the airport, they picked the soil when he was conducting that arambe that everybody brought some something for you to travel. And they picked the soil from where you are standing as you are telling them, uh, thank you very much. Thank you very much for coming. I hope when I go to America, the education I get will benefit the community in this community, blah, blah, blah. And they are looking at you and they are nodding. Okay, go. So when they pick the soil and they speak against it, when you go to America, you'll be walking on the earth. When you go to Canada, when you go to India, when wherever you go, the earth is an, a constant in your life. There is no day you will wake up and say, phew, I've missed the earth. Okay, even if you go to the mass, for how long are you going to be there? You'll go there and come back because it's that one is not, it's not it's not a place you can live praise god so for as long as you live the earth will be waging war against you so when they pick this soil and they they command or when they bury this animal and they command because i have buried you you earth i have fed you make sure you feed on veronica's children my children will be in trouble unless i pray because the earth will be a source of constant pain. So that's how come you find people have buried what? Uh, photographs of people's wedding. People, you know, you just find the photographs buried in the earth. Why do they bury them? They bury them because they are feeding the earth as they are covenanting. They will do a sacrifice. They will give an offering to the earth. That's how come you find old men when they are trying to appease the earth. They will take blood. Others will take what? Beer, a traditional beer beer and they will be feeding supposedly uh, gods of the generation mm -hmm. you know mm -hmm. calling upon them it's called what Pour, pouring mm -hmm. libation mm -hmm. they will be talking oh uh, veronica the great please drink here and when you drink make sure Amazon, yes life is doing well da, 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 da. They, that's witchcraft praise god but they are appeasing the earth why are they appeasing the earth just in case my great grandfather died and he said as long as he has left us walking on this earth we ain't going nowhere in life then we ain't going nowhere and now we want to appease the gods praise god so that's how come we will pour that beer that's how come we will pour that blood that's how come you find some people when they are sick they will slaughter the goat and then they will not that blood will be poured on the ground what are they doing they are giving the earth an offering to appease the earth just in case somebody told you to kill me please i am not bad I can feed you, drink this, and be merciful to me. And you find that some of these tricks, they work for a while. Praise the Lord. So the earth is a living entity. The earth can be commanded to swallow your marriage, to swallow your blessing, to swallow your peace, to swallow your health. The earth, not on top, on top of being commanded, it can also be commanded to keep the record of the, th that particular wickedness they want to ex execute in your life at a particular season or for a certain duration. You see, when Jeremiah says, oh earth, oh earth, hear the voice of the Lord. Somebody can say, oh earth, oh earth, hear the voice of the great witch from Ukambani. Mm -hmm. So when the, somebody is addressing the earth like that, the earth pays attention. Mm -hmm. That's how come when you walk on the earth, what you you know they can do anything they'll say let not veronica be able to drive on this earth i'm mm -hmm. telling you you getting a car or even when you get a car you you in your lifetime you'll have a list of like 59 cars and none of them lasted for more than four months praise mm -hmm. god why because the earth has been commanded not to allow you not to permit you to acquire such and such a thing the earth can be in charge of you know tormenting and terrorizing your life if you are not careful to understand that the earth is a living thing, the earth is a bad witness or a good witness, praise the Lord. The earth can be used by whomsoever is wise enough to understand that the earth can be used. For example, uh, when you have a farm and every time you farm, all the tomatoes, they rot, all the mangoes, they have some insect. 
Uh, every time when it's almost harvest time, you know, I'm talking about people who've dealt, who've tried farming and it is not, it's not happening. Praise the Lord. Guess what? It's because the people who are wise enough, that's why you find them walking in your farms at night. What are mm. they doing? What are they bewitching? Are they bewitching the, the, the crop or are they bewitching the land? Most of them are in fact covenanting the earth. That's your farm. That part of your farm. That part of earth that you're calling your farm. They covenant it and say, as long as Musonye is farming this land, let him get nothing. Hey, my friend. If when your crops are ready, you will get a farmhand who is a thief, who will bring a truck, like my friend told me he had, I don't know how many thousands of heads of cabbages. And guess what? Uh, before he could take a truck to the farm, he now met, he now, he now met, what did he find? Three cabbages, just three pieces. That's all that was in that farm. You know, like yesterday you came and you counted your million. Then today you're coming and you find three, three drummers only. That, that is, you know, when the earth is covenanted against you, mm -hmm. they can call the earth and tell it, I command you, just produce, produce, but before harvest, die. Let the crops die, kill them. So you find every time you have, your crops are almost ready, something happened. And the earth was, the soil was what? What do you call it? Acidic. acidic. Uh, the soil uh, produced, uh, there's another fertilizer you used that now produced this uh, bacteria in the soil. That's how come Meat. your crop died. And this time you've really, you've poured like a million on that ground. Have you ever seen people who try a project and they just want to go crazy? You see somebody coming from a project and they lie down and they say, if I don't die tonight, God, mm. hey, God, I, I will not be happy with you. Just take me home because I don't want to kill myself. Mm -hmm. I want to go to heaven. So take me. I've never had people, you know, you are frustrated by the earth until that is what you pray. You can be, you can be keeping cattle because Many a times, other than covenanting you with failure, stagnation, sickness, the, the pe people who are mostly attacked through with this witchcraft, they're the people who are doing things that pertain to the earth, you know, real estate agents, farmers, people who keep cattle, people, people who are just doing projects on earth, praise God, um, other than being a person who is working on earth. So you find you are a real estate agent. When you chose this ground was beautiful, but the moment you started, Guess what? There was an earthquake and it cracked across your land and the houses went grrr, or the houses just sank like four inches. Poof. So they are not fit. Mm. Or you wake up to floods. You find you can't find your land. It's not that the land is flooded. No, 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 no. People who know how to use the earth are up against you. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. That's how come you find witches love what? Things like shoes, you know, socks, things that you use to walk on the earth, walk on the earth. They will take such garments. You will find you're losing your socks because, you know, many a times we get into the house, we remove our shoes and we start, we start walking in our socks, you know. Or at times we just wear the socks because it's cold and you're using the socks to walk in the house or you're using the shoes. Everywhere you go, you have your shoes on. So your shoes, they have definitely stepped somewhere. That's how come you find your shoes are missing and especially if you go home 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 village and when you're coming you're coming in you find that one shoe is missing and you look for it forever and you don't get it don't just take it lightly you need to pray and destroy every covenant that is made using the earth against you i want to give you a good example of somebody whose sickness is coming from conduct with the earth i've ever seen these people who are very very sick and when you go to pray for them example in hospitals eh? in hospitals you go to pray for them you pray for them they couldn't eat they couldn't talk they couldn't sit suddenly immediately you say amen they they say amen with you they can sit they can talk they can eat you even call for the food mm -hmm. and you are happy they've eaten and yes we will come and even maybe in two days time we'll be discharging you however the story goes in the middle of the night, I was so pressed and I wanted to ease myself. As soon as my feet touched the ground, I, I, I don't know what I felt. I felt so sick. I felt so tired. 
you know, I just found myself now in the ICU. What happened? You cast out devils. You destroyed spirits that were operating against their lives. And they came out. However, they ran. The earth said, where are you going? The covenant is with the earth to make sure they destroy you. So they went back to the earth. And they say, okay, don't worry. The morning she steps on the earth, hey, get her. Get her. If she doesn't want to be sick again, let her not walk on the earth. But as long as she's walking on this earth, it doesn't matter how many prayers they say. Let get her. Get her. So when she steps on the earth, she is now very sick. You've heard of people who had chronic sicknesses. People who suddenly became very sick. Look at those sicknesses. Those sicknesses don't just come when somebody's sleeping. Have you ever noticed that? Mm -hmm. It's rare for somebody, other than maybe a heart attack, it's rare for somebody just to be sick when, you know, they were sleeping. Yeah, there are those who sleep and die, yes. But it's rare for somebody to start struggling with a sickness that will take 10 million, what million, uh, leave you penniless, you know, without direction. Many of those sicknesses, they, they, we investigate, talk to people. As soon as I, I stepped, I sat and I stood I was going to the toilet. When I reached the toilet, I don't know what happened. Mm. So they had contact with the earth. They were walking down the stairs. She, she was sitting in bed when I was dressing, going to work. We were conversing. We were talking. But when I reached such and such a place, the house girl is calling me that she's sick. What happened? When she when now we are talking to her. So what happened? When I came from my bed and I stepped on the ground, as I was going to the toilet, as I was trying to get, I don't know what for the house girl, something happened. Why? The earth has been set against you, praise the Lord. Mm -hmm. That sickness, for as long as you're walking on this earth and you will not take time to destroy the covenant and the offerings that were offered to the earth to fight you, you will have a deadly fight. You may fight. You, if, you are, if you are prayerful, eh? You will always be on, off, on, off, on, off, because you are dealing with a constant enemy. You know, there's a someone I taught here about the guardian demon. In fact, now the earth becomes like that guardian demon. It becomes like a constant evil in your life because every day when your feet get in contact with the earth, a covenant is set in place. Praise the Lord. Mm. So guess what? You must pray. When you look at Colossians chapter 2 verse 14... Let me read it so that I explain something there. Colossians chapter 2, verse 18, 14, eh? 2, 14. Colossians 2, 14. It's our favorite scripture as deliverance people. And when you're doing deliverance prayer, you always read this one. Blotting out the handwriting of ordinances that was against us which was contrary to us and took it out of the way, nailing it to his cross. Sometimes, according to me, when I look at this and writing, I think it's an evil record that is kept in the earth against you. Jesus had to take it out of the way because you find many of these covenants, many of these sacrifices that have been offered to the earth and they are crying against us, then they cause trouble for us. Praise God. Because when it is time for you to be blessed, the earth will open her mouth and say, I am holding Veronica's blood that was shed by such and such a witch so that she can be powerful, so that she can be with this family, so they can't stand. You remember Abel, eh? Abel's blood. When Cain was asking God, am I my brother's keeper? Huh? God said, hey, 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 your brother's blood was speaking from the ground where you shed it. It, it, it gave the earth a voice, praise God. And when God looked at that particular, it was the blood. It was speaking from that point. And it was saying, look, look at how unfair this one is, oh God. It was crying out for vengeance. So many at times, those animals that have been buried against you, they will always raise a voice from the earth against you for whatever reason they were slaughtered for. If they were slaughtered so that your family does not prosper, the women does not get, do not get married, Married, the men do not marry, or you can't keep marriages, or if you give birth, you give birth to feeble children, sickling, you yourselves will be forever sick, you know, covenanted with the hospital. You know, there are people who can command, covenant the earth to make sure that your feet are forever in hospital, mm. forever mm. in hospital. Mm. Like you, you are flu, 
then you have chest pain, then you have stomach, then you have ulcers, then you have headache, then you have I don't know what. For your feet, they are forever taking you in and out of hospital. And if it's not you, it's your spouse now. Your spouse, your spouse. If it's not your spouse, your child, your child. If it's not your child, something is happening and you're forever in hospital. You're not going to good places because the earth has been covenanted to make sure that the best place these feet can go on this earth, the best place the earth can allow you to go is to the name to the grave. There are people who've been covenanted to be vomited because, you see, the earth can vomit. Somebody can bewitch you and command a city, you know, a city like Nairobi, to vomit you, you know, a place where you have your livelihood, where you have your business, where you have your job. They command, they covenant with the earth. They give the earth an offering and they say, O oh, earth, O oh, earth, O oh, earth, hear me the great Omugambo voice as I am saying, let Pastor Veronica be vomited out of our city. And the city, everything in that city will work out against you. It mm. will work against you. You will even, you yourself, you will feel, I no longer want this city. Mm. It has worked against you. For those of you Africans who go abroad, you are there struggling and one day, one day, you are deported with only your, you know, your bathroom centers on. Why? Because somebody in the village was chanting and said, let America soil vomit Veronica. Let the soil reject her. Let the soil refuse her. Guess what? America will, bleh, and it will vomit you in Africa, in your village. I've seen people who come from abroad and they cannot even afford to live in a, in a you know, in a modern city. Mm. They have to go back to the village. Why? Because the earth has been covenanted to vomit you, to spew you, to spew you out, praise God. Or the earth has been covenanted to swallow your wealth, oh, boom, and then you lose everything in a single day. You lose your job, you are auctioned, you are what, even your wife leaves you, you know, even your children are now behaving like, we don't want a dad who is a failure. How am I going to be associated with a failing dad? Praise the Lord. Why? Because somebody who is smarter than you is using the earth, is using the soil against you. And here we are, we are here saying, oh, me, I live, it's by grace. You see, if I start praying about the soil, it means I am denying the grace of Jesus. The grace. The grace has been revealed to all men to enable men to say no to sin. No to sin. It's, the grace is not here to carry us like fools. You know, you are going through the fire. Yes, the grace will see you through the fire. But what are you going to do about it if it's a strange fire? Because it could be God has permitted you to go through the fire. It's not a strange fire. This one, God is in it with you. But how come this, of, what of this fire that you are in it, you and your children and your husband, you are in that fire and God is looking at you and wondering, oh, Oh my, oh ye of little faith. When are you going to trust me and pray that 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 I take you out of that strange fire? And you, you are here saying, I cannot pray because the grace is sufficient for me. Hey, hey. The name that we were given is the name that is above every other name. Praise God. When mentioned, every knee must bow and every tongue must confess that Jesus Christ is Lord. So for those of you who are able we will be praying these prayers against the earth. Uh, tomorrow is on Monday. On Monday, uh, 10 p. Is it p.m. or a.m.? Is it 10 what? P.m. 10 p.m. Afri East African time. Praise God. You join us in our Zoom meeting. We will be praying. And we will pray. And if you won't be able to join us, uh, wait for the wait for the clip where we are doing these prayers. We are going to pray, and the earth will vomit your goodness. The earth will align with your blessing. It will allow you to prosper in the land of the living where you are in the name of Jesus Christ. So uh, I pray that you found this teaching uh, good for you and enlightened in Jesus' name. God bless you, and thank you for joining me. God bless you.